part two of mail day. It's the one where I rip this box out of the fucking ground and move it a block and a half away because uh, U.S. mail is a bunch of dickheads. Who's your boss, James? I fucking freak out. I carry it out. I call this dude, uh, and that's when he's like, "Yeah, apparently they don't. She doesn't drive down that street. You're gonna have to put your mailbox somewhere else." Well, I'm like, "Dude, see what you could do to get this thing done." This was Friday. He calls me back today on Monday, and says, "Nope, gotta move the mailbox." So now, my choice is all the way down there at the end of the street. See where that stop sign is. There's two mailboxes. I could put it next to those or all the way up this way. There's a street. See that tannish looking house? There's a street that runs that way. That shit is a block away in either direction. That's where I got to put my mailbox. And cement. It's fucking cemented into the ground. But I got it up. I just... Uh, I dug around it, I used this pry bar, it's kind of ready. I'm gonna take the tractor, hook a, unhook the mailbox part of it, and then hook some chains to this and just fucking tear it out of the ground. And drag it down the street and dig a new fucking hole and pour new cement in the new fucking hole and then, god damn it, these motherfuckers. So that's what I'm doing, mail day. Fucking mailbox day part two. About to walk this 200 yards up the road and try and fit this big clump of cement into a new hole that I've dug. Great. Yeah, I just found this on my property. This was all overgrown, but now that, you know, it's cold out, shit is dying back. Look at this. There's a fucking well here. Surrounded by sticker bushes. Look at that shit. That is weird. I don't know what to do with that. There's no way that that's gonna be good. Oh shit. <laughs> Hello, fucker. Right here this whole time. Yeah, I, I can't see this being very viable. There is a, there was a cover on it that somebody didn't put back on, unfortunately. Pretty fucking nuts, man. I don't know what to say about that. That is where you put bodies. There may be bodies in there. I like these ferns growing out the side. That's cool. Ah, damn. That is wild. Alright. Don't know what to do with that. I wonder how fucking old that thing is. There. I moved the fucking mailbox. Fuck the mail lady for throwing a tantrum. Making me do this shit. That better be good enough. Done. Ooh. It is just a terrifying tomb. There's like a bucket laying there. Dude, that's gotta be a 15 foot drop. At least. Ew. Doesn't look very clean. Ow, I'm stuck on these goddamn sticker bushes. Motherfucker. Ugh. I'm afraid I'm gonna drop my phone down this shit. Dude, it is fucking creepy down there. It's all uh, rocks, I think. Lining it. Like, somebody built that. Somebody fucking dug a giant pit here and then mortared rocks in. What the fuck? Weird. So this town was started like 1860s or 1880s, I think. Something like that. I forget what I read exactly. It was a six or an eight. Um, and apparently it was very popular then. There was way more people here a hundred years ago than there are now. Um, because there's a spring a couple blocks away from here in like the, the little center of town park thing and apparently at the turn of the 
century it was like a big tourist attraction because they said it had healing powers and you know you could just fucking con people a hundred years ago nobody knew shit now it's the same but it's digital um but yeah so i guess this was like a big touristy town they used to have a uh, a big hotel right there by that spring um it's still there but it's literally falling apart rotting away and there's signs all over like no trespassing and uh Stay away. Trespassing? Dickhead. <laughs> There's signs that say stay away? No. That's, that's not a sign. It's not real. Ugh. Anyway, I've, I've got a pit on my property. If you need to dispose of a body, I've got a pit. This tree is fucking crazy. Look at this branch. So weird. That's this thing is probably four foot thick, at least. At least, man. It might be six feet thick. I don't know what kind of tree this is. That part right there, that's probably three feet through the center. This branch is crazy. I don't know if it's because there's like a little, you know, where they used to come in and out. So maybe they, they just kept cutting it back. And that's how it grew. You can see there's like little nubs there that got cut. So maybe that's what forced it to grow this way. It's tough to say. That bitch. This is one of the uh, little ponds on this property. It's not very big. Maybe like 40, 50 feet across. I don't think it's fed by anything. I think it just collects rainwater. You can see the it's low. It was a big drought this summer. I guess they didn't get rain for like almost three months here. It has rained a couple times in the last couple weeks, but not enough to refill this, I guess. But I guess this shit goes all the way up to there normally. Comes out to here. There's one or two other ones like this on this property this one here doesn't get fed the other ones there is like a creek that goes into them it's not really a creek though it's just like stormwater runoff but it fills them i think they're a little bit bigger but still swampy and like fucked up you're not going to do anything with it there's a lot of frogs in here in the summer anyway i didn't see any walking up to it now but it's only 50 degrees <laughs> 